welcome to my channel and I'm back with you once again with another video of Microsoft Flight Simulator. Nowadays, I'm exploring the Cessna 152 and in this regard, I'm making a series of videos in which I'm trying to explore all the aspects of this plane. Before this, I've made a video in which I've told you how to carry out VR navigation and then ILS approach and landing. Now, in this video, I'm going to tell you how to start this plane from the cold and dark state. Um, I'm making this video uh, for the beginners who really want to uh, start their flight simulation and they have little or no knowledge about the flight simulators. And in the next three days, the Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024 is also coming. So that's why I'm just trying to make these videos and put them uh, on the channel so that once uh, uh, the new simulator is there, you can easily uh, do a flight if you have no or little experience of the Microsoft Flight Simulator. It's a very simple plane. There is nothing so much complex about it because if you jump into straight, uh, straight away, if you jump into uh, Boeing 787 cockpit or 737 cockpit or Airbus A320. There are so many complexities as a beginner. So that's why it will take you some time to learn uh, those planes and then enjoy the flight simulator. But with this plane, you can simply uh, fly this plane, enjoy some good scenery and uh, you can just like go from one airport to another. So as I've told you before, I'm going to tell you how to start this plane from the cold and dark state. So first of all, just make sure that the barking brake is engaged and over here you will see the parking brake right now it's engaged if i push it it's disengaged so make sure that the parking brake is set then over here you will see the fuel selector and just make sure it's on and right now it's in the on position now uh, what you have to do is this you have to get rid of the yoke by clicking it over here and uh, you see these two buttons. One is for the battery, another one is for the alternator. You have to turn on the battery so that there is some power in the plane and you can start it up. Now, as you can see, uh, the communication panel is up and uh, that's good. Now, what you're going to do is this, you're going to turn on the nav lights and the beacon lights. Now, I'm going to tell you what is a nav light and what is a beacon light. So first of all, just turn on these lights, nav and beacon, and let's uh, jump out of the plane to have a look at these lights. Now at the tail you will see this red light blinking. This is actually um, the beacon which tells the ground staff that you are about to start the engine. And this beacon remains on throughout the flight till the time you turn off the engines. Now on the wing tips uh, you see the nav lights. This is the green one on the right side and uh, this is the red one. And uh, throughout the flight, these lights also remain on. Now, the logic of these lights is to basically give indication to other planes that what is the direction of your plane. So in the morning, obviously, everybody can see that plane is facing right. Uh, but let's say in the night, if it's too dark, then in any plane sees a green light, then they know that this plane is going towards its right side. And if any other plane... Uh, looks at a red light, they know the plane is going towards its left side. So that's why these nav lights are there on the wingtips. So let's get back in the cockpit. And uh, then you have to prime the engine now by clicking this option, primer. Uh, this actually injects uh, fuel in the cylinders of the engines, a uh, little bit of fuel so that you can um, uh, start the engines and the ignition can be just carried out. So just click it maybe two or three times and that's it. Now, um, you will see this lever. This is a fuel mixture, a mixture of fuel and air. Just uh, push it all the way back. And uh, now it's a rich uh, fuel mixture. It actually changes at higher altitudes. You can adjust the fuel mixture to adjust uh, the fuel flow. Okay. And... Uh, Throttle, just make sure is it's 25%. Uh, so just get give a little bit of uh, the throttle uh, by 25%. And uh, that's it. Now you will see the ski. Just rotate the ski all the way towards right. And the plane is up and running. Okay. So it's very simple. So starting uh, this plane is uh, really good. But just make sure that the, after starting the plane, um, if you look at it over here, uh, the RPM should be less than 10. So let's uh, reduce the throttle a bit so that you put less stress on the engine. I actually gave more thrust. So right now it's uh, 
1000 rpm so let's reduce it a bit and that's it so you can keep the rpm over here so it's really easy as i've told you before if you want to carry out a flight you can easily start this plane from the cold and dark state and then you can just uh, fly it anywhere you want for the vr navigation and ils approach and landing uh, video i will give the link in the description you can just go and watch that video as well so that you can navigate your way through the airspace and then you can land at an airport if you want to turn off this plane it's really simple just uh, pull this fuel mixture out and the plane is off and uh, that's it and then you can just turn off the key and then you can just turn off the beacon and the nav lights and uh, you can turn off the battery and the alternator and the plane is off <laughs> so turning it off was really easy so i hope this was a useful video for you and i will be coming up more videos um, i will post them on my channel regarding this plane and plus i'm also trying to explore uh, Cessna 172 with Garmin uh, G540 and G1000 so I will be uploading those videos before the launch of Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024. If you have got any questions regarding this video you can ask me in the comment section or if you want to add anything to this video the comment section is there for you. Thank you very much for staying with me. Have a nice day. Hope to see you soon.